Hello there, and welcome to another video about restoring vintage telephones. Now, in this particular case, pardon the pun, we're going to be looking at phone cases, and particularly ABS cases um, that are made out of ABS plastic like this one is. Now, we're all familiar with really badly faded cases like this. You can see on the back there where there's been a sticker how faded this grey case is, how it's turned to this horrible brown colour from grey. But if you look at the front, that is a nice, almost new grey. Now, I've just restored the front of this and it's only taken me a few minutes. Now, you may have heard of a process called the Retrobrite process where you have to dip it in chemicals and all this kind of thing and it takes hours, sometimes even days and then it's not always guaranteed to work. Well, here's something that I found works in a matter of minutes. So, let's get on with it. Okay, to restore a ABS case like this and we're talking shiny telephone cases here but this will work for any shiny ABS so it's a computer case telephone case or anything made out of ABS plastic it was thought that for a long time it just couldn't be done it was thought for a long time that this kind of suntan that they get over the years couldn't be removed well they found the Retrobrite process that does it in some cases that you can have some success with but here's another way of doing it and what you'll need for this is some acetone and this is basically nail varnish remover you can buy it off eBay and places like that make sure it's pure acetone though or you can get it from your local chemist and here I've mixed some acetone with some methylated spirits it's roughly between half and three quarters acetone to between half and one quarter methylated spirits you have to play about with that mixture I'll tell you more about that later and also you want some of this tea cut colour restorer original tea cut this is a kind of polish used for restoring oxidised paint on cars normally and what it does is it's just a very fine abrasive that just takes the top layer of the paint off and we're going to use it just to take a little tiny bit of plastic off these phones but such a small amount you'll never notice so here is what we do now what I'm going to do I'm going to do this front edge. You see how dark this front edge is here? I've already done the bit where the dial goes here. Yeah? But you see this front edge, see how dark it is? I'm going to do half of this front edge just to demonstrate how this works. And I'm going to do it in real time with no edits so you can see what's happening. So the first thing we do, we take a rag, a cloth, and this needs to be a lint free cloth it really does need to be lint free so I'm using an old tea towel but uh, anything that is lint free um, will do the trick and the first thing we do is we take some pure acetone put some on the cloth and then just rub it onto the case and you'll feel it go wet at first and then it'll go sticky as it starts to dissolve the top layer of plastic on the case and you'll see the plastic begin to come off on your cloth and can you see that already starting to change colour just there because you're taking off the top layer of plastic now the trick to this is you've got a little bit of plastic now on that cloth so when you go again use a slightly different area of your cloth 
so you're not putting that dirty plastic back onto the case. So slightly different area, a bit more acetone, and rub it on again. It, start, it starts feeling wet and then it gradually starts to feel sticky as it dries and as it reacts with the plastic. Now what this is doing is taking off the top layer of plastic but it's also making a mess of the plastic. It's also making it not shiny anymore and it will feel a bit rough. But keep moving your cloth and there you can see again the colour coming off there. So again move around. Now I've got a fairly dirty old rag here but it would have been better with a cleaner one but just for demonstration purposes. And we keep going until we've basically restored the colour. And the trick is keep moving, don't let your cloth sit on the surface of the case. And if you feel it digging in too hard, if you feel it getting too sticky, use a bit less pressure just to buff it. You don't really need to press on, let the acetone do the work. And you can see that there changing colour I'm sure. So find a clean piece of cloth again because remember we don't want to be putting that dirty plastic back on. And carry on. Just keep going until you've basically restored the colour, if not the surface texture. We've almost done it there. Now, I've not actually timed this, I ought to have timed this. But I haven't done. Now, you see the surface, although the colour has improved greatly, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, the surface is very rough. You can see it there as I catch that in the light. It, it's rough because it has basically melted the surface a bit and it is rough so this is where the magic comes in now put the top back on your acetone as soon as you can and make sure it's on tight because it will evaporate and now we use the acetone um, and methylated spirits mix And what this does, this cuts the acetone a bit, so it still works, but it doesn't take off as much plastic. So it's kind of like using a finer grade sandpaper, because the methylated spirits are stopping the acetone from working to a certain degree. So, and you rub on this, this shouldn't feel as sticky and you will see the surface, it still won't look shiny but when you rub your finger on the surface you'll feel it smoothing out So there it is, smoothing out. 
we'll just use a clean bit of cloth. And that has smoothed out now, but it's still not shiny. The surface is not shiny there, if you can see that. It's got a little bit of a shine, I guess, but there's like there's like a bloom on it. You can see it's like a, a bit of a, a bit of a cloudy bloom. Again, put the top on because the acetone and the methylated spirits will evaporate very quickly otherwise. And now you take your tea cut or Brasso will work as well if you've not got tea cut because it's a very similar thing Brasso and tea cut. Shake it up because remember it's a very slight abrasive so you want the abrasive particles in it. You don't want them all at the bottom of the bottle. Use a clean bit of your cloth. Get some on your cloth and just polish the area that you've been working on and do it quite vigorously but again you don't have to press on ridiculously hard let the stuff that you're using do the work rather than you doing the work I went over the front bit here with the mixture before, so I'm just repolishing that front bit as well. And there you can see all the dirt and that coming off on the cloth. The yellow that you saw that time, a lot of that was actually the tea cut, because that is that colour to start with. Find a clean bit of your cloth and start to polish it off. So you're now polishing away the uh, residual tea cut or brass or whatever you've used there. Just polish. And there you have a beautiful, shiny, restored area. Now, if you look, there are places on it I don't know if you can see in this light where it's still a little bit yellowy it's still a little bit yellowy on the edge here and there's a little bit there um, so basically repeat the process and I've only done this quick remember as well but that is basically how you do it that is how you restore one of these shiny phone cases now the mixture of um, the acetone and the um, methylated spirits in this bottle is a bit of a black art. I was told to start with 25% um, acetone to methylated spirits and I found that did nothing. I think you're probably more likely to need to be the other way around. Um, rather than 25% acetone and 75% meths, I think you're more likely to need 75% acetone and 25% meths. But what I would suggest is start 50-50 and be prepared to add more acetone. You want it to polish and not be too sticky um, as you're rubbing with it. But you can see there the beautiful finish and the colour difference and that is how you can restore a telephone case. If you've enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe to the channel here at Andy's Shed and I'll see you again next time.
with more restoration and repair tips. Bye for now.